All right, so uh, this network that we're going to talk about is different in that there's monetization involved, but uh, a percent of that money goes to you. Yes. We don't need to do it on the mobile? It's not going to be on the mobile yet, but there is the mobile version. We're going to do it on the website, and then we'll do it on mobile. So uh, go ahead and open up your, your web browser. One of these networks ha it has a web version uh, plus, a, plus a mobile version, and the other network is only mobile, but we'll talk about the other network uh, later. Let's talk about this one first. So you want to go on your web browser, you want to go to this address right here, tsu.co, 2.co, tsu, tsu, 2.co. Is Japanese group? Well, tsu is a Japanese word, um, but I don't know the full origins of this yet. Tsu, it's like, it's like Facebook, it's like Instagram, it's like Twitter. Um, so here you're seeing a lot of pictures, you're seeing people's names. So their names? on the corners of these pictures are going to be similar to um, to Twitter. It's going to be at Filmaid, at John Smith, at Charity Water, etc. So they're going to have a short name like that um, before you go on to the join. Don't go to join just yet. Um, because it says two is an invite-only platform that rewards social activity for all users. You can share photos, videos, and any type of content with your friends and followers. Read about the philosophy. How does it work? Two is an invite-only platform that rewards social activity for all users. Um, what else? We serve ads. How it works. We serve ads. Like many networks, we do this because online ads generate revenue. We give almost all of it to you. Our community gets up to 90% of all revenues. It's your content. You own it. So every time you're on Twitter, you're on Facebook, and you see ads and all of that, and you click the ad, Facebook gets money. Twitter gets money. Pinterest gets money. But this one is about you getting up to 90% of that money being on the network. Create and share great content. We, we celebrate authentic and high-quality content. Whether you're posting photos, videos, music, or links, make Sue the first platform that shares your original content. Uh, invite your friends. Ready? So, again, uh, at the top right there is join, there is log in, but instead of um, instead of trying to join directly. Um, I'm going to give you an invitation because again it's invitation only and using my link then you can create an account so up at the top go to the address su.co slash vm campus through that account you should be able to go through the process to create your account So follow that link, and then I'll try to create a, an account just to show you what it's like. You should see my picture at the top. You've been invited. So you see you needed a... That looks like the same screen as a moment ago, but you needed a referrer's short code. You needed an invitation, and, my, and the invitation is from me. So it's VM Campos, V M C A M P O S. You can make this up as a person or as a business, but there is no different sort of login, although there is a whole advertising partnership sort of thing. You can look at that later. But here, then you can make this up for real, for practice, business, or personal. Take a moment to fill in the boxes. 
Notice under gender is where you can select business. And I don't believe there's a big difference at the moment, which you choose if you choose to do um, your own advertising here it might be useful to go with business but I'm just gonna go once you have this refer you can make more accounts if you'd like but I'm just gonna create it as a person username so the username will be similar in Twitter so let's see here I'm gonna do Victor and Campos you can only use letters, numbers So you want to create the account. Join and view content. Join and complete profile. I would say let's join and complete the profile. Because again, like the other networks, you're going to have more probability of getting followers and such if you have a more complete profile, if you look more legitimate rather than just you know another fake spam account so we'll go join and complete profile it lasts for a profile picture of course cover picture is going to be a graphic that appears at the top of your profile um, so you can set those there's biography 160 characters do you have a website relationship status current location, hometown, social accounts. So it says, are you also on YouTube, Tumblr, Pinterest? You, you can fill those in because that could give you cross traffic. This is the question people always ask. OK, I just got onto Pinterest. How do I get followers? Well, if you're already on another network, Snapchat, like we talked about last time, or uh, Twitter, like we talked about, or whatever, if you're on those networks, you can use some of that traffic some of those followers and such to get you to your other network. We'll see in detail later. But here you want to fill in whatever you can. I don't I don't have my graphics handy, but you want to fill them in as soon as you can. Again, having a having a filled in profile is better than not because it'll look make you look more legitimate. Biography, you can take the same biography from your other networks. This is 160 characters like Twitter. You can kind of just put that in. Or you can change every network could have a slightly different biography. You know, if you've got two sentences to fill in, the first sentence could be the same on all the networks, and the second sentence could be a little bit tailored to this network here. website. Uh, we haven't talked about this too much in the class yet. Uh, oftentimes these networks have a spot for you to link uh, your website. And this class is focused pretty much on social media, but the big aspect of social media is that you're going to be marketing or advertising a website. Starting, uh, starting next, um, maybe next time we meet, but most likely next week, we're going to start touching upon WordPress. WordPress is website creation software. So it's free, and we're going to talk a little bit about making websites. We have other classes here that are much more advanced about making web class, uh, websites, such as CIS 123, CIS 152, CIS 255, I think. We have other classes, more detailed about making websites. But I will touch upon a week or two in this class a little bit about making websites with WordPress. 
because you've got all this social media and usually you're using it to gain attention for your website, get traffic for your website, etc. So I don't have a website at the moment. I'm going to skip that, but we will be talking about it soon. In two weeks at the most. Um, so we'll get back to it. You can change relationship status if you want. That reminds me of Facebook there. Current location. I'm going to put San Diego. If it recognizes uh, a location, you can fill that in. And part of the location is to find locals. So if you're a business and you're trying to find local users, that could be useful. So if you've got these social networks, you can fill them in. It only lists these three, but we've talked about two out of the three of them. You can go to next. And then it says, do you also want to connect Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram? Uh, these are useful um, because it says, for example, once you connect your Twitter account, you will be able to post to Twitter and find your Twitter following on Sue. So you post something on Sue, and it'll also go to Twitter. So if you already got some followers on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and such, uh, you can get more followers back on this network. Now, I do have to say, unfortunately, and I don't know if it's changed, but a couple of weeks ago there was a huge controversy with Facebook and Sue. To my knowledge, and I haven't checked very recently, but to my knowledge, Facebook is basically banning any mention of Tzu on their network. They, um, from the reports that I was reading, if you were trying to share a link from your Tzu account to Facebook, Facebook doesn't let you post it. So I'm writing something and I have my Tzu address, it doesn't even let you post it. They went as, as far as actually then going back in time and deleting any mentions of Tsu on your account. And even worse, they don't let you say anything about Tsu even in a private message on Facebook. So for at the moment, and I don't know if they've changed it, but Facebook really hates Tsu. Why? Why is that? They are rival networks. Facebook is huge, of course, and I'm so surprised that they're so scared of this little network. But they are rivals, and Facebook doesn't want any competition. Now, they claim it's because there's a lot of spam, spam links on Sue. But that's not a legitimate thing. There's spam sites on every network, even Facebook. So I really think they're just being, uh, you know, jerks, and they're just not letting any network access from here. They might change it. They might not. But... I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't know if they feel that they're enough because they, I don't know. I don't think they would because they, you know, Facebook, they don't want to share their revenue. They're getting billions of dollars, millions of dollars. They don't want to share their revenue. And I can't speak for them, but, you know, Facebook's, Facebook's are jerks. Anyway, um, so yeah, you, you can connect, but I don't know how useful it'll be. Instagram. You can connect on Instagram also, although you, you won't be able to post from to, to Instagram. You can only post to Instagram from Instagram. But at least you can use this to find your friends on the other networks. So I'm not going to connect these in any of these at the moment, but I would recommend it at some point. Let's see here. Okay, so then of course, when you create an account on any network, especially when you're new, it might feel this is a ghost town, I don't know anyone. Uh, so here it's going to recommend perhaps some accounts. These will also have the verified kind of icon, like Twitter, so that you know that you're following the right account. So who do we have? Jeremy Arif, Kelty Knight, One Love, Live Miami, etc. Angela Bass. So, if any of these stand out to you, you can 
select any of these and later on we'll see more about searching. I'm just going to select at least one person so I have some stuff to look at. Um, follow at least one account, go next. Um, after you create the account to get kind of a preview of what it looks like so you, you couldn't quite see a lot of it um, just by going to tsu.co you had to create an account if you still have my link open right there you can get a preview of what an account looks like top graphic, you've got friends and followers, we'll see the difference. This is a feed, you can look at the photos of an account, their friends, their followers, who are they following. Uh, so there's animated GIFs, hashtags, photos, you might remember that when we were talking about Snapchat. Um, graphics and so forth. Uh, so it's very similar to Instagram. It's very similar to Twitter. It's very similar to Facebook. They're all related. They're all a social network to share stuff. The big idea with this one is when you share stuff, you can be possibly getting uh, paid for it. You're going to be posting your content, building followers, and then um, when you, when you get activity, clicks and comments and all of that, it helps you get paid. At the top right, uh, you'll see create a notification icon and your profile. I just put in a picture, a koala, but yours might still just be the generic icon. Click on your icon at the top right corner where you can look at profile, settings, family tree. This is your connections. This is who have you connected with um, and who's, who have you invited and all of that. We'll look at it later, but frequently asked questions, doing advertising here. I'm going to go to profile. Let's click first on Profile. If you uploaded a graphic, it'll be visible up there, your icon. You can go back to edit your profile. Uh, I'm going to get back to that. That's also under Settings. But your profile, and you're going to have your own Tsu address. So tsu.co slash that username that you created. So you can refer other people to the network. It's simply going to be your username or your address right here. So if you want to start getting people connected to your network, um, which will then help your revenue, you just use your address. Send that out on email, put it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, Facebook, if they allow it. But that name then is going to let you get connections. Um, I've got the feed. So this is content that you've put up there. Photos, friends, followers, following. If we take a look at the settings again, uh, you can go to your click on your icon again, um, your profile icon, and then click settings. Under settings, 
you can on the right side edit the profile which social accounts do you have so if you didn't get a chance to connect your networks earlier you're going to find them again here under settings social accounts if you were giving out invitations and that's um, found on this screen invitations are just your your address so if you want to get more people under your account to profit from that you can copy your link send it on social network or you can send emails directly from the system right here you can look at your privacy settings right now um, there are various aspects uh, that are public your posts are not. You do have to have friends, you do have to have connections, so that's not public. But uh, public people can send you a message, see your Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram link. And so you can decide what you want to do over here about select if you want to receive friend requests. You still want to get connected with friends. Uh, again, on the friends relates to you, um, you getting more revenue. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer payments. This is kind of cool. This is off by default, but if you turn that on, someone will be able to send you money through the network. So you know they'll, if you request money, they'll be able to send money to you. You can just turn that on. You'll have that option keep activity feed private right now your stuff is public meaning if someone searches they could find your stuff you may or may not want that so you can change that if you want um, activity and content uh, your activity is is have you did you did you connect with someone did you change your biography did you do this did you do that that activity that one at the moment for me is private but then your content, if you posted something, it could be visible, it could be found, you can turn that off. And right now, if someone searches for you on a search engine, if they search for you on Bing, Google, Yahoo, whatever, they could find you. So if you don't want that, you can turn it off. You can look at this on, on your own notifications. Right now, you're going to get notified via email for these different activities. You might then become start you might start getting popular and then it might be annoying. You're getting so many emails from this happening and that happening. So you can turn these on or off. They're under notifications. There's a lot to choose from. You can read the fact what is Sue? How is it different? Um, you know, how do I get paid? All of that. And so there is a notice at the top here. Sue.co is a community for authentic engagement. Please treat it respectfully. Users who spam or post inappropriate content will be banned in order to preserve the community. Just like any network, it's also got private messaging right there on the left side. You can check your bank, how you're earning and monetizing and such. Um, I would recommend what you want to do at the moment here, go right away to this bank icon if you do want to use to and you do want to get paid from it. You do want to agree to this right here. So you want to click bank on the left. I'm still under settings. Go to bank and then uh, read this thing. Yeah, right. And then click accept. So on this screen is where you will be seeing how well you're doing, how well your stuff is doing, how much it's earning you, and you can redeem it to turn it into real money. It's got an analytics system also. Um, 
I got this pop up here, bank. Uh, you can earn money by contributing to the quality of the Tzu community, creating authentic content, sharing with true friends, and link liking or commenting selectively are great ways to earn your fair share of revenue. And it tells you right here, do any of these stuff such as spamming, begging for follows, aggressive hashtagging, and posting on strangers' walls. Inappropriate content. All right, so basically, again, this isn't just a, a free-for-all that you're going to, um, you know, you're going to do what you, whatever, and you're going to get paid. There are, there are guides and such, and you should follow them to make the most of it. But so this is not like uh, they're recruiting people? Or? Mm, no. Recruiting in what way? Like in a programmed way? In a sense, you could think of it possibly like that, because if you get more people connected, there's more followers and such to help you get paid. You, that's not necessary, though. You could be connecting with the people already here, and sharing and commenting and such, without creating more connections. So if you do get this pop-up about spammers will be banned, just say you understand that and click continue. That one popped up for me when I went to analytics. I don't know if it popped up for you guys. Discover users. So I have to double check. Uh, so you can tell that this is that this is a pretty legit service because the Wu Tang Clan is on two right there. And so, um, I was about to say, um, okay, what is the difference between friends and followers? There's a frequently asked question here. Friends. If you are friends with a user, then each of you automatically follow each other, and you will share both levels of content in your feeds, public or friends only. We do not yet have a private or restricted option. We suggest only befriending people who act, you actually know or want to know. Followers. If you follow a, a user, you can see their public posts. Users who follow will not see your public posts unless you choose, unless they choose to follow you. Likewise, you can have followers that you choose not to follow. So friends really is like to share a little bit more of private stuff, not exactly private private but friends a friends connection you both have to agree it's kind of like the classic friends on Facebook if you send a friend, a, a friend request the other person has to agree to it and then you can see each other's stuff if they don't want to become a friend connection you can still do a follow uh, and not everyone is going to accept you as a friend especially if they want to keep their account legitimate so when you see accounts to follow you know follow is 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 like kind of public more and then if you actually <clears throat> um, want to try to friend an account you may or may not be able to to do so unless they choose to Now on mine at the top, it's it's going to tell me to confirm my email address. So you you might want to do that at some point. And okay, let's say we created this network. We want to start sharing stuff, but we don't have followers or friends, so we're not going to get paid very much because no one's paying attention. What I like is they have something similar to Google Plus Groups. You know how Google Plus Groups are cool and useful. So here then, if you go to the Tzu Groups, it's in beta, so I guess they're still working out the kinks. But there's groups here, and just like Google Plus, the thing that I really like there is you've got groups where people go to these places to be at to really talk about things that, it, that are important to an account. Yeah. How many subscribers do they have? In total for this network? Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe somewhere in the frequently asked questions they'll say it. But for example, this uh, 
this group by itself has 59,000 members. So this one's got 36,000. So there's, there's lots of people, at least, that have an account. Being active in all of that, that's a different matter. But if you go to the groups, you'll be able to see like this ex this photography one, 10,000. Everyone loves animated GIFs, so there's a whole group about that, the gifted. And the cool thing is, it's not obvious here on the website, but if you get the app for your device, uh, you can create animated GIFs. Uh, I don't believe you can create them on the on the website yet, but you can on the on the app. We'll I get to that. Two groups. Um, you went to to two groups right there. Yeah. And you only see two groups. Um, you might have joined two groups because at the top you see here it says my groups. Pending and oh. suggested. So go to suggested. I haven't joined any, so it shows them all. I've been joining them. Oh, that's weird. What happens when you go to suggest? Two group hmm. You need to confirm your email. Those are two good groups anyway, but um, you might need to confirm your email address, and then you might get more uh, more access. So. Very similar to Google Plus, I would suggest that you get into uh, into into groups to be able to connect with with more people. Let's see. Then there's the popular. Hmm. I would just uh, maybe wait a bit. It's maybe the account is very new. So there's the there's the popular feed on the left. That's another place to go to uh, make connections. And the whole point of here, again, uh, more followers you have or friends, they will uh, it will be related to the revenue sharing system, meaning what you post could get you uh, could get you paid. And so then, if you explore these different speeds, uh, you'll be learning more about the network. If you actually want it to be valuable to you, then uh, if you click on the Create button at the top right, here's where you can post something, a picture. Um, this is similar to Instagram. Well. I guess no. Uh, I think this, I haven't quite seen it too much on many networks. I think it's a little bit more like Tumblr, which uh, uh, we're not going to get to in this class. But Tumblr, it ha uh, uh, too, is like Tumblr in that you can write the main content. Like, um, this is my first post. I'm going to add hashtag first post. Um, you can post the main content and then also add a title. So you'll have a title. It'll have a title and then the main text. And you can add a picture. One picture at a time, actually. So on Twitter, you can add up to four pictures. On uh, Facebook and Google Plus, you can add as many as you want. On this one at the moment, it seems only one picture at a time. You can add a title, you can add the text, picture, is this going to be public or friends only? I don't have any at the moment, so I'll keep it public. Do I want to share it to Facebook or Twitter? And I'll post.
Okay, so um, the the other thing, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, keeping on this network, because uh, we'll talk about the other one next time. But you have also you have also the the app. So if you get if you have uh, iPhone, Android, uh, you can also get the app you can go over to um, you know the app store if this focuses but you have the Sue app and I have it on my device here uh, so it's going to be very very similar compact of course and you're going to have the feed and searching and friends and all of that add and the, the big difference here on the portable version is that you can upload pictures, but then uh, you can create animated GIFs. Uh, on the main website you can't, but on the app you can create animated GIFs and then you've also got like text posts. So with animated GIF, you can you can create at, on the spot here an animated GIF to upload, and um, people love those. So just different ways to to share content. On this particular network, there will not be a homework assignment on it. I just want to bring it up because it might be it might be fun, a new place to uh, you know connect with people and it might be uh, valuable literally it might be profitable. you might be posting stuff and earning uh, a little bit here and there um, and if you add it as as part of your your other social media, let's say you're really into uh, uh, Instagram you're posting to both networks. I would sort of recommend um, slightly different content on each network because if someone follows you already on uh, Instagram, you know, what's what's the big idea for following you on too? If you post different things on each network, you can have people on Instagram say, hey, follow me on too to see this exclusive stuff and vice versa. And then this is the network where you could be earning off of that. So you can um, explore that on your own. I forgot to mention here, when uh, this is really cool, when you upload something, like on the website, for example, you have the edit button on a picture, and you get this cool photo editor where you can do all these special effects, cropping, adding stickers. And, um, to rotate this. You have these basic uh, editing features and other, other things. And so, as I said, no uh, homework on this one, but uh, I'd like you to check it out. Uh, and if it's interesting to you, then you might want to uh, keep using it and earning. I'm going to wrap up at this point, and when we come back next time, I'll talk about another social network where you can also get paid 
just from using it, but we'll wait for that one on next time. And on that one, you do need a device. Uh, there's no web version of it, so next time, just letting you know, you do want to bring in Android or iPhone or tablet or whatever to use this other network. Any general questions? On this one, I haven't used it enough because, uh, you know, I heard about it already probably like um, seven months ago or something, and I created an account at that point. I haven't really used it too much because there's so many networks, but I believe I have made like, like 20 cents. <laughs> and if I use it more, I might make more money. I make more money off of YouTube, but uh, if I get on, on this one a bit more, you know, it, it'll work out. This other one that I'm talking about... Um, that I'm going to talk about next time, and that one's a little newer also, and I've been on both of them. I, I've also made a little bit off of that one. I don't. It hasn't been converted into regular money yet. It's still in the internal currency, and I forgot how much I have at the moment, but uh, yeah, it some, seems to work at the moment. Any other general questions? All right, so when we come back next time, we'll look at another money-making network.